University of Illinois is a, a large public university that was established as a land-grant university. We're located about two hours south of Chicago. Um, it is the flagship university of the, of the state of Illinois, and as such, many of our students, over 70 percent, is also from the state of Illinois. The Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering here at Illinois is at, um, is at the crossroads of disciplines, and as such, we collaborate a lot with both the biosciences as well as with the various engineering disciplines. The department is very active in research with respect to energy and sustainability. With the world running low on fossil fuels, as well as with raising CO2 levels in the atmosphere, we as a society need to start doing things differently to make sure uh, life is sustainable for many hundreds of years to come. My research is in the area of microchemical systems and, for example, we're developing right now reactors that convert CO2 into CO or synthesis gas. Um, once that synthesis gas is formed, we can use a process that's well known at large scale, a physiotropes process, to convert those chemicals into intermediates for, um, for plastics or for liquid fuels. Well, our group is really interested in understanding how chemical reactions happen. When we have limited resources, either energy resources where we have to conserve the number of atoms that we consume to make a certain product, or we have a resource like energy which is available on the grid, we want to make sure we use as little of it as possible in order to create a final product in the end. So by understanding how you can control the selectivity for a reaction, we can create only those products that you would like to make, utilizing less methane, less crude oil and fewer of those products that you do not want to make so that we can serve energy and atoms. In the area of polymers and materials, our faculty pursue a variety of studies trying to understand how materials behave and we are trying to use materials to build new objects. So in my research we aim to study the dynamics of soft materials including polymeric systems, uh, branched polymers, homopolymers, copolymers, and also biological materials um, by developing new molecular scale tools and new single molecule uh, methods. We're looking to develop new ways uh, to make sequence defined polymers. So this is, these are polymers, long chain macromolecules in which we can specify the identity of monomers exactly and precisely at specific locations along the backbone. We have also several faculty work in the area of health when it pertaining to tissue engineering. Um, they build scaffolds out of uh, polymer materials that are then loaded with certain cells, often stem cells, and that scaffold is then implanted in the body such that the, uh, uh, a defect can be repaired that is larger than what the body can repair by itself. In my lab we build biomaterials to try to mimic some of the heterogeneous environments we see in our body. The tissues and organs and even in some of the, the smaller areas in the body where stem cells reside. My lab's research addresses a major challenge in tissue engineering, and we're developing new analytical methods to identify the maturity stage of individual cells uh, without needing to use expensive labels. Also in the area of health, we have faculty work on understanding cell biology at, the, at its core fundamental level. Um, how do signaling pathways work in biology? For example, in the biology of angiogenesis, the creation of blood vessels. We are working to develop advanced biomaterial systems that can promote repair and regeneration of blood vessels. And we ultimately are planning to use this material to improve treatment of cardiovascular disease. The impact the department has had on the society has been tremendous, especially if you if you look at what our alumni have accomplished. To give you an example, Jack Welch, former CEO of GE, came from our department, as well as uh, Steve Miller, former CEO of Shell, and the current CEO of BP, Bob Dudley. Over the last few years, our student numbers have gone up dramatically, and surprisingly, a larger fraction of those students, when graduating, immediately finds a job. There is clearly a need in this world, despite the economic situation in the country, for a large number of well-trained chemical engineers.